I know the campaign for the one is going to bring a lot of change to Village Baptist Church. We're going to have to change in order to reach the next generation and the generation after that. This church is special because it started as a small group and it has grown, but often it still seems like a small group. Sunday morning, October 16, 1962, the group met. I said, well, my house is not that big, but you're welcome to start in my house. My earliest memories was uh, going to Mr. and Miss Bass's house. Uh, the adults would get together to meet sometimes about the organization of the church. And then sometimes they would have the kids meet in, in, in their attic, which they had a floored attic. So that was kind of, for us, it was kind of neat. Uh, not too cool for the adults, but pretty neat for us. When we, we marched down Village Drive and then we marched down Owen Drive to McPherson Church Road, carrying a cross, carrying that cross. God was with us and when we got here, we were already too small. He had already done miracles. Well, I think the Refresh campaign gives us the opportunity to, to reach out and invite the next generation here and, and make them as comfortable as possible when they come so that they can hear the word. Uh, it's important to raise my daughter here in this church because I know she'll get the, the spiritual food, so to speak, to live her life on the right track and be a good servant to God. We have already seen some changes. They're um, changes that are they're welcoming, and I just think that we have to uh, try to help people understand that that's what we have to do, because if we don't do that, and if we're not purposeful in it, then we may not have Village Baptist Church. It's in the book of Haggai, the prophet Haggai is speaking to the post-exilic Hebrew community that are coming back from being exiled in Babylon. Their houses have been in ruins and the church, the temple has been in ruins. But they spend their time absorbed with rebuilding their homes. And God asks them, why do you live in paneled houses and my temple remains in ruins? Be strong and get to work. God calls them on it. And the people respond in obedience. So I see Village Baptist Church as having the opportunity to continue to fill this place with God's glory, but with even greater glory so that we can reach the lost, we can reach the next generation and the generation after that. I promised God that I would get out of His way and get out of my fixed ways of thinking things. We've had our opportunity. Now it's time for, we, for us to help the next generation to come to know Jesus and to pass it on. This is for our daughter. This is for our generation. This is for the future generation. And whatever we can do to sacrifice for that, we're willing to do because we put it in God's hands and He will do it.